Welcome Bow Betters! I am likely not to play as many bets as there is enough meat on the main card, but as always there are some spots that might be worth its ROI. The bout between Casey O'Neill, a minus 230 favorite versus Antonia Shevchenko, a plus 180 underdog. No one is on Antonio Shevchenko and I'm surprised she isn't a greater underdog. What is being oversold here? The Shevchenko name or Casey O'Neill's grappling skills? This bout is even money to go the distance. Antonio Shevchenko is plus 300 by decision while Casey O'Neill is plus 210. Where doesn't Casey O'Neill win this fight? She is the more active and crisp strike striker, but her striking defense is pretty awful. And in that bout against Procupio, Procupio exploited it for a few good strikes in their bout. This is another striker versus grappler in a women's MMA event where Casey O'Neill has a significant wrestling and grappling advantage. Antonio was submitted in her last appearance versus Andre Lee. Just like Macy Chase on, Antonia likes to fight at range and counter wrestle to keep the fight on the feet. And just like Chase on, she likes to clinch and is susceptible to being taken down. Having only 50% takedown defense, this is going to be a sleepy night for Shevchenko. I'm going to wager that O'Neill finishes Shevchenko at plus 140. I will also chase the submission prop at plus 350. And again, similar to Aspen Ladd, I think it's worth a look at the round props. O'Neill in rounds one and two is plus 175. Casey O'Neill is uh, an excellent parlay piece. Pairing her with Aspen Ladd, Nico Price, and Kevin Holland is plus 416. A four-pick parlay, not horrible price for, what it, for excellent performing fighters. And shit, this is a great spot to throw in the not-to-go-distance prop. In Walker versus Thiago uh, Santos, that five piece would be at plus 519. Honestly, might be on this degenerate parlay, but these five bouts will be my primar primary betting exposure. I might place a wager on the totals in the bout between uh, Misa Serkinov and Christoph Jocko. The over under is set at one and a half rounds, and the not to the go distance prop is set at minus 190. Uh, that's uh, the long shot uh, parlay gets longer. I might throw in that one. Uh, minus 190. I also like M Misha Serkinov on the money line as well as possibly by sub at plus 333. That would definitely be a wrap for me. That's a lot of bets. Uh, I usually bet more, but I'm just trimming it down. It, it is very helpful not to have so much exposure. Where am I leaving money on the table? Uh, Carl Rosa possible by finish at plus 265. Joseph Selecki by submission at plus 400, or Alexander Hernandez by TKO at plus 440. You tell me in the comments section. Hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much for anybody that listens to this stuff. Thanks again.